People with criminal records often struggle long after serving time. Governor Tony Evers has issued pardons for the first time in nearly a decade to try to help them. Only on 27 News, Jennifer Cleasy tells us how community leaders are helping those who've been pardoned build a better future. So you can make one fatal mistake and it just change your whole entire life. 15 years ago, Doyle Spruer made a bad decision. The man who volunteered and worked with kids ended up in prison for a marijuana conviction haunting him for years after serving time. We can hire you based on this criminal record. It's like, wow. So every time you hear that, it's like you're getting re-sentenced again, you're getting re-punished again. He filed for a pardon as soon as he could. Imagine waiting 10 years. <laughs> For something that you, you know, you paid your debt to society. A Milwaukee church took a chance on him, opening the door to become a minister. But Reverend Spruer is now finally getting his name cleared with a governor's pardon. Well, to get that call, it was like, am I dreaming? Is this real? And I'm like, wow. So I was just like a little kid at Christmas time. Stories like his inspiring community leaders to start a program to work with the recently pardoned on jobs, housing, and loans. And what we want to do is try and help them get to a new life, get to the life they want to be in. Former Department of Corrections Secretary Ed Wall has seen how a felony record impacts all aspects of life after prison. Some of them are well settled and aren't really looking for many services or assistance. Others are deeply in need of service. This will require a significant partnership and understanding of issues. Masood Akhtar, who founded We Are Many United Against Hate, says the program will also help teach communities how to forgive. And we are going to talk about the good things that these guys are willing to do and giving something back. For Spruer, a pardon means a chance to give back in a new way, now eligible to be a firefighter. It's just a faith walk that I walk. I always put others before myself. And the program giving him an outlet to share his story, helping others build a better future. To be able to share my story and make it relatable to them, it's a beautiful thing. Just today, the program is celebrating what they're calling their first success, helping a pardoned man whose goal is to join the military get written permission from the governor to have a gun.